Well, General Electric announcing that it will buy back Berkshire Hathaway's preferred stake in the company. Remember, Warren Buffett gave GE that lifeline back during the 08 financial crisis. And the company says it'll pay $3.3 billion plus unpaid dividends to Buffett for his stake. And while we're talking about GE, company making a big announcement on uh, more than a billion dollars in new natural gas turbine orders that we want to talk about right now in an exclusive interview with Steve Bowles, CEO of General Electric uh, Water and Power, who joins us right now from Houston. Uh, Steve, thanks for coming back on the show. Tell us about the announcement today. Absolutely, Connell. Great to speak with you again. And uh, just to give you a context, I lead our power and water business, which about 20 bi 28 billion dollars of revenue around the world. It spans everything from wind turbines to gas turbines to water. And today, about 25% of the world's power generation electricity comes from GE technology. And about, we talk about natural gas, about half the world's land-based gas turbines are GE's today. But today's announcements are all about, we announced $1 billion worth of new natural gas turbine orders for our business, in this case, in North America. Yep. I, and the second thing we're announcing is what's behind me is our new aeroderivative gas turbine, which is ideally saluted for kind of where we see the market going. Talk to me a little bit about business and, and manufacturing and everything else in the United States of America. You talked about this being in North America. How does the business work? Which yes, part of it is made where? Is it all American? Is any part of it done overseas? And how is that uh, kind of changing? Is manufacturing, you know, there's been a lot yeah. said about manufacturing being dead in, in the United States. Right. You know, Connell, it's a great question. We have a global uh, supply base around the world, but some of our best operations in the world are in the United States. I'm coming to you from Houston here which is the headquarters for our aero derivative business globally. And it's our fastest growing business in power and water. Right. And we have over 6,000 employees here in Houston. And this product behind us, which will be manufactured here in Houston, will ship around the world. So uh, we, have great we have a great team here. We can expand and uh, we bring customers here from all over the world. So uh, that's not unique to our aero derivative business. But uh, we have big gas turbine facilities in, you know, South Carolina, big wind facilities all over the U.S. So uh, we see it as a, uh, as a uh, great part of our competitive advantage. How much does it matter, though, to you where those people are? In other words, could they be anywhere and you could do the business because of technology anywhere? Or is there still some value in having the people that make things near the people who design those things that they're going to make? Oh, Connell, there's no question about it. Co-location is very important, having those big critical mass sites with the engineers together and the manufacturing and services, et cetera. This is one of our absolutely big sites. We have multiple GE energy locations here in Houston. But I think at the same time, when you ask customers around the world, they also want to have some of their local field engineers and some of the project managers also in country. Right. So it's a balance. But uh, no doubt about it, North America and this site here in Houston is uh, Absolutely one of our best. All right. That's a big part of what we're talking. This is the big picture of what we talk about all the time in terms of where jobs are going and where they're going to be right. located in the future. You know, before we let you go, Steve, Absolutely. Uh, we mentioned right before you came on about the fact that the big company, the GE, is paying back Warren Buffett for that 08 investment. Is that a, what does that tell you? I mean, is there a big picture view there that things have gotten a lot better or what? You know, what I would say is that uh, it's still a multi-speed recovery world. But what we are seeing in our energy business is a strong positioning of our offerings. All going forward between now and 2030, the world still needs 30 or 50 percent more power regardless. And also we have a world that's water constrained. 30 percent of the world doesn't have access or water constrained today. This offering behind us will allow customers, not only big customers, but industrials, universities, medical centers, to get quick power. This thing will come up full running in less than five minutes, and they can install it in less than 70 days from getting on site, which is really a new industry standard. So our position is to really weather through any storm, and you're going to continue to see the investment in the energy right. industry to transform the business going forward. Steve Balls, the head of GE uh, Power & Water, joining us today from Houston. Thank you, Steve. We appreciate that. You know, apparently it's Tom, windy. Connell, thank you very much. Great sure. to see you again. You're welcome. From Windy Houston. You see that?